Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com and KillerPHP.com. In this quick little vlog, I want to comment on web design schools, web design colleges, web programming colleges. And the reason I want to comment on this is because I was reading an article recently about people who are in debt. And one of the people, one of the individuals rather, this woman they were interviewing was someone who lost their job and then they decided to get into web design because they saw an opportunity there. So she went to a web design college and I guess she did a one-year one course and she said that she was now $8,000 in debt because of student loans and so forth. So my comment on this, a couple things. Number one, I have nothing against web design schools, web programming schools and whatnot. Uh, for some people, if you need structure, you need a place to go to learn, then that might be a viable option. But I want you to know two things. Number one, if you're going to be doing work as a freelancer uh, or you're going to be looking to work for a small to even medium-sized company, uh, a web design degree or web programming degree is not uh, important at all. They're much more concerned about your skills. So they don't want to see a portfolio. They want to see what you've done. Keep that in mind. Especially if you're uh, a freelancer and you're working for uh, doing jobs for small businesses and startups. They, they couldn't care less about a degree. The other point I want to make is that if you're looking to get into the web field, whether it be programmer, designer, or, or usability expert, or whatnot, before I would go out there and spend thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars, uh, jumping into a program, I would first explore the subject uh, either through uh, online tutorials, uh, whether it be the free written ones and whatnot, or video courses. Uh, we offer video courses, of course. So, yes, I'm talking my book to a certain extent. But also, you know, we do have schools who use our videos as well uh, as a basis of their courses. So either way, you know, it doesn't really affect us too much, I suppose. But anyway, I just want you to understand that uh, you don't have to go to school in web programming, web design to be able to make a great living. Uh, far from it. It's not like being a lawyer or a, you know, a plumber or something where you need to get a certificate or something. It's not the case. It can help in certain circumstances, but that's only really if you want to work for, let's say, a government agency or very large corporations where they care about pieces of paper like this. So before you jump in, putting yourself into debt for thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars, I would look at these alternative routes, save a lot of money, a lot of headaches. And don't forget, when you get into student loan debt, this is non-dischargeable debt. That means this is debt that you cannot get rid of through bankruptcy. So it's ironic. If you start a company and you run up 100,000 debt or 50,000 debt or whatever, and it doesn't work out, you can declare bankruptcy and you're done. No more debt. And that's a good thing because otherwise, if, if, if you made debt onerous, you made debt difficult for people, uh, nobody would want to start a business because it would be just too risky. Unfortunately, uh, in my opinion, when it comes to student loans, it's not the case. They've changed the law in the U.S. and I think in Canada as well, where uh, if you find yourself in student loan debt, you cannot get rid of it through bankruptcy. And they did this to prevent some abuse of the system and so on. But this is also very dangerous because what you have now, uh, especially in the U.S., because higher education is so bloody expensive, you have a group of students, ex-students, who are now effectively debt slaves. They have uh, degrees that don't help them to get work or the jobs that they get are just are pathetic in terms of their payout, uh, the pay that you make. And uh, they have these huge debts, some of them in a, in a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. If it sounds amazing to me, but that's the case. Anyhow, and they can't find work or they can't get work that makes enough money. So now they got these huge debts. They can't get rid of them through bankruptcy. They're really screwed. So, yeah, web design, web programming, 
I believe there's a great future in that because I think the economies are going towards small business and small business development. And every small business just about needs a website and some web programming. So it's a good thing to get into. But I would think a couple, I think once or twice before committing to a big bill. And I would also look at alternative uh, means of education uh, to save you from getting into any of these type of debts and these debt messes. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to try to do more video blogs uh, as you know, going forward. So, you know, this is in late August, well, mid-August rather. We'll see how it goes. Depends on how busy I am, because we got a lot of new stuff coming out. Some a whole new way of uh, training people coming out. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. And so it's taking up a lot of my time. Besides the fact that, uh, no, that's it. That's taking up a lot of my time. All right, I'm Steph Mischuk, KillerSites.com, KillerPHP.com. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send them to me. If you have tech questions, nerd questions anyway, uh, about the video, uh, about any of the videos or anything, I advise you, uh, suggest that you go to our forums. There's a lot more people that are answering questions right away. KillerSites.com slash forums. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Until next time.